Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and uh, Aquarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading for June 24th to a June 30th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. And we can go directly to the reading. Okay, so the first card which represents uh, the uh, Aquarius topic of the week, this is going to be uh, the Empress card, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that Aquarius needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Third card stands for the positive aspect of the week here, and we do have the Nine of Swords, and then the last one, which regards to the Guidance, the tarot is offering to you Aquarius, this is going to be the star card. Okay, so once again, um, Empress card stands for the topic, followed by the Ace of Pentacles, which represents the challenges. Afterwards, we do have the uh, Nine of Swords, which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week. And then the last one, <coughs> it is uh, the Guidance here, and that will be the star card. Okay, so uh, Aquarius, this is going to be quite of a, um, a, a serious week and under serious, I don't mean it in a bad way. I mean it in a way that is going to decide what the future for you is going to hold. Uh, that is due to the fact of the very first card here and the positive aspect as well and the guidance also. Uh, but the, the Empress card points that you need to approach the situations in this week or you are going to approach the situations in this week or uh, with a, a great amount of, of maturity, all right? You are going to understand that these situations are not to be taken lightly and uh, there you, you, you can't fool around with them at all. And um, for that reason, uh, you are not going to rush any kind of decision that you will have to make and as a matter of fact with the queen of uh, with the with the empress excuse me there are going there is going to be at least one very very important decision that you will have to make throughout the week uh you will fully uh scope that this decision is gonna give you the fruits of of the decision itself either bitter or sweet and for that reason it is very likely guys that you are going to uh, detach yourself from the midst of those activities you know for example someone approaches you with a proposition and you ain't gonna get give the uh the answer straight away because you are going to uh, recognize it as a very important decision that you have to make so you're going to withdraw for a couple of days three days maybe the whole week to deliberate and finally to decide what is uh, what is best for you the accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, <clears throat> the formation, it is a, a passive uh, f uh, passive supporters. And we're definitely talking about negotiations and um, how do you say it? Uh, 
when you lead those, yeah, it's negotiations and conversations, so you make everything clear, right? Everything uh, uncovered and that there is nothing that can surprise you moving further into, uh, into the future. Additionally to that, these uh, couple of cards are pointing that you are to receive great amount of support from the people which um, are very faithful to you, right? That could be good friends, you know, it could be your husband or a wife and etc, etc. And uh, as well, it seems that um, uh, that decision that you will have to make or these decisions that you will have to make uh, at the very first glance are going to be uh, the right decision is going to be anybody's guess. And that's why it will be very important, you know, to uh, to withdraw and to deliberate on them even deeper, you know, than uh, just, you know, to see what it looks like on a shell, or what, what its shell looks like as first presented. And that will be the challenge itself here. Uh, we have the uh, Ace of Pentacles. And so the major challenge is to recognize that opportunity which will allow you to further your goal. But on another, uh, on another aspect, as you withdraw, you know, from those midst of activities, the Ace of Pentacles is another challenge to maintain communications. Now, you need to know that withdrawing from the activities is a good thing, but that doesn't mean that you have to become a, a hermit, all right? You just need to keep up um, maintaining, you know, those uh, harmoniously flowing uh, communications and relationships in your life as well. For example, if you do have a, a very important business decision to make, that doesn't mean that you don't have to spend time with your kids, with your husband, you know, or with your wife. That is, you don't have to spend time with uh, with your friends. It's just the, the, the business decision is, is a, a business decision. And when you withdraw from the midst of activities, it means that you withdraw from the environment of that decision just so you can... Uh, more accurately analyze it but like i said doesn't mean that you have to withdraw from everything in your life the accompanied card here is going to be the seven of wands so the formation it is a passive neutrals that we do have and it's uh, quite baffling here with the seven of wands because the seven of wands speaks for readiness for action you know scoping the right moments in this kind of in these kind of cases and as a neutral to the ace of pentacles it adds a little bit more vagueness like in a sense of that there could be a multiple ways how you can approach the situation you know multiple right moments and you may be baffled you know what kind of, what what is the um how can i place it uh, what is the most uh, appropriate moment for you to make an action? Uh, like I said, um, this is gonna come on its um, on its own accord as you uh, as you deliberate and as you um, trying to find out more and more information about this business proposal, for example, or about that person that you are interacting with, and etc. Uh, etc. Uh, et uh, it's it's just. How can I describe it? <laughs> it's just, guys, you need to know that even though at the start it looks a little, a little bit baffling, everything is going to become clear uh, if, you approach, if you approach situation, this, this situation, excuse me, with a, a high amount of uh, responsibility and as well maturity. So uh, the um, positive aspect here of the week is going to be the nine of swords and I already covered the card it does represent the realize uh, the uh, awareness of how serious the situation is and therefore depriving one to make any stupid actions especially provoked by an, an emotional um, emotional outlook uh, for example <clears throat> let's say that um, you know your wife or your husband approaches you with a, a statement or a testimonial that things aren't working out very well and they display why. So you approach it emotionally and things are starting to become very heated. What I mean is that there could be scandals, there could be wrangles and etc. etc. And what you're going to miss here is the very root and the core of the matter. So that's why you need to withdraw from midst of these activities so you can objectively analyze a, the situation. And this is what you're going to recognize here. That is the positive aspect. You're going to recognize the seriousness of the situation. And there is a, get a, a, there is a, a way out of it if it's a poignant one. And uh, you are to spend the time 
as much time as you need to find a way out. The accompanied card here, it's going to be the uh, Page of Swords. <clears throat> the combination, it is a active supporters that we do have. So uh, yeah, it's it seems that you're gonna have very keen minds and with these couple of cards, it is very likely that you will become original thinker. What I mean is that um, thoughts are gonna come up to you that you haven't thought before and they will be very natural to you as well. It's not gonna be something like, uh, um, it's not gonna be something that you don't want to do or something that you wanna, that you don't want to think about. It's gonna be more like, God damn, why, why did I not thought about this beforehand, you know? Why I did not figure out this previously? How this was, how, how was this eluded me uh, in the past? You know, and as well, uh, these couple of cards also are pointing that maybe, maybe for some of you guys, and then a uh, surprising help is going to come around, and that help is going to be in the form of insight, in the form of a um, advice from a, a person or from a, a companion of yours. And that's why it's very important to maintain your communications and your connections as well, while in the same time you are detached from this important, um, uh, important this, uh, the, why you are, when, while you are detached from the circumstances which demands from you to make that important decision. If we're following the example here with, um, a marriage that isn't working out very well and uh, the other party of the marriage approaches you, uh, then, <clears throat> you know, you just have to try not to contribute into this, uh, uh, into this matters right now, you know, um, into this wrangles, but in the same time, you need to acknowledge that uh, this issue has to be addressed with appropriate measures. And so the last card here that we do have, it is the guidance and that will be the star card. So the star card tells us that there is out of it, all right? Uh, if the situation is despondent and poignant and you have to decide how you need to tackle it, then there is a, a way out of it. You know, there is a, a way, uh, there is a, a way how you can save your marriage, how you can save your relationship, how you can save your job, you know, how you can save your friendships as well, how you can take the upper hand here. It is just like I said, you need to take your time. Additionally to that, once you make up your decision and once you, uh, tackle those uh, those enterprises with the maturity and the seriousness that they require, then the era of your turmoil is going to end. What I mean is that the, uh, the cycle of the turmoil is going to end and it seems that much brighter perspective is going to uh, is going to start forming here on the horizon for you meaning that you will have a, a better outlook for the future the accompanied card here is going to be the ten of Pentacles formation it is a active enemies that we do have so with the eight of Pentacles it does look like that you cannot rely on your own here I mean um, definitely we are having people involved into this uh, into this situation and as you make up your decision you know and you acknowledge it, you recognize it, you approach it maturely. Uh, it seems that those people will start placing a great hopes and faith in you as well. And uh, the, um, how can I describe it? The, um, the relationship in between you and these people is going to warm up even uh, even further on its own accord. It's not something that you will have to sustain afterwards. It's just the foundations are, um, are laid down and from now on it's it will be a miracle if someone can uh, break or something can break uh, these relationships either business intimate or a uh, friendship type of relationships but uh, what these cards here are pointing that after you make that decision you know the last cards cumulatively uh, there will be a a, a a cumulative goal for example, for you and your husband or your wife, for you and your colleagues at work, or for you and your friends, and etc., etc., and together you can achieve a great things. All right. So that being said, Aquarius, is this was your weekly tarot reading for June twenty fourth to uh, June thirtieth, two thousand and nineteen. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.